Hi there, it's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thanks so much for joining me today and welcome to my stamp studio and another Friday fun with an SAB freebie video. And today I have two super quick and simple projects to, um, to show you today. And um, they're both, one is a level one item and one is a level two item. So I kind of combined, I wanted to get um, two, two uh, award levels in one project. So um, the, the main stamp set that we're using is called Touch of Ink. And it is, um, it's a level two, which means it's free with a $100 purchase. And you can see this, these beautiful two stamp images are, are gorgeous. What we're combining it with today is a uh, level one, which is a $50 purchase, and that is the Flower and Field Designer Series paper. And we're not using much, but we're just using a little bit to uh, add a little bit of color. So let's get started. My first project is going to be using this. Um, this is the DSP, and you can see I have little um, samples that I put on to um, just to remind me what coordinates with what. So we're going to be using this one. This is my favorite print from the, uh, from the DSP set. And I already have some um, layers done and some trimming so that we can uh, just get busy with the stamping. All right, so we're going to be using just a one inch and I will have the, um, the measurements for these projects down below into in the uh, the YouTube description. Okay, so let me get my seal, and we're just going to layer this up a little bit before we do our stamping. Okay. Okay, I'm using just jade cardstock <clears throat> because the uh, the background to this DSP is the just jade. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this um, the bird image, and the image you can see is much much bigger than what is shown here. This is 65% uh, I think of what the actual size of the image is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stamp it right onto this uh, stitched shape square. And I'm gonna stamp it in Memento. Because this stamp is a little large, I'm going to turn it upside down and do it that way. I find it's easier. Okay, so I'm just going to put him you know what, I didn't catch the edge of him there. Okay, and I just want him to be just right to the edge there. Make sure he fits in all the corners. Okay, now we're gonna put the second piece, the second stamp over that, and for that I'm going to use So Saffron ink. And that would be this image here, which just looks like a blob, but uh, it comes out really pretty. And you don't have to be exact with this, otherwise with two-step I usually do um, use my Stamparatus, but these are pretty abstract as far as where they're, um, how they're covering the image. So you don't have to be too worried about it. I just wanted to add a little bit of color. That's it for that. Okay, so let's take the black, the memento black back out and we're going to um, just stamp the image on this little tiny square. Same thing from the um, stitched shapes dies. And just I'm gonna pop that guy right into the middle. He fits perfectly there. Okay, so let's just layer some things up here. All right, so I'm going to put this, I really just want this as a background. So let's put this on first. I don't have to worry about any ribbon going on. So I can get this up now. Okay, 
So now, I don't know if I want to put him on exactly right on there like that. I think I'm going to put one a little bit askew, and then we'll have him, I like that, and then we'll pop him up with some dimensionals. Okay, let's get him on. We just need some dimensionals for that, so he has a little depth to him. straighten him out, but I am going to put him over to the side just a little bit. And then it looks like he's actually pecking right at that flower there. Okay, so we have our sentiment, and I think I'll just put the sentiment right there in the corner. And since I already uh, popped that one layer up with dimensionals, I'll just use my seal for him right down here. And he'll be a little bit on and a little bit off. I'll lower it a little bit. There you go. Okay, let's just give them a little bit more color with some, um, these are, the, this actually isn't uh, the So Saffron, it's the Bumblebee, so I think that matches pretty well. Uh, since that is the Bumblebee that I see in there. It's a mix of Bumblebee and uh, So Saffron, I believe, which I do like. Okay, let's just give him a few little Dots, random, and, and we're good. Look how simple and how quick that came together. I love this stamp set. We're going to get a lot of use out of that for sure. Okay, so for our next project, it's, again, very simple, very uh, just about the layering. And we're going to use a different stamp from the set this time, a different image, and we're going to use this little floral image. And uh, I'm going to mix up the colors a little bit this time and make it a little, a little bit more colorful. So again, let's just get some layering done first. This is another print from, the, um, from that Flower and Field DSP. And this is pool party. And like I said, I will have all of the um, measurements there for you in the description below. Okay, so this is the one we're gonna do some stamping on. And uh, so I wanna take out this big stamp and then we it's two step again, so we will be doing a little bit um, of both. I'm going to put both, um, I'm not gonna use the black outline, I'm just gonna use this straight from the pool party ink pad and we will just ink this up. I just wanted to give a little bit of background color uh, to pick up the pool party in the flower here and that's why I use the pool party cardstock too. So this is just going on super simple. Okay, now I'll take the solid image Sometimes I would do the solid image stamped off just so that there's more of a, um, a contrast, but this is very, it's a very light color. And again, I'm not really having to be too careful where I'm putting it because it's, um, it's, it's made to go outside the lines. Okay, so let's bring back our um, memento. And I want to stamp the sentiment in here. Now the sentiment is that we're going to be using is the uh, thank, thank you so much. And I'm going to uh, crop it out with a new item from the um, from the new catalog, the January to June 2021 catalog, and that is the um, oval uh, oval occasions bundle, which has a nice little punch to it. So let me. Um, see if I can do this without I hope I left myself enough room I'm not sure so this is the punch 
the Oval Occasions Punch. It comes with this stamp set as a bundle, and it's really adorable. It, it can be for a baby, birthday, uh, little Easter bunnies, thank you, a little treat bed. So it's another one that we're going to get a lot of use out of. And let me just take off a little bit from the bottom there so that I can get it to fit in there. And then we're gonna use the um, pool party uh, for, the, for the top one, for the, for the back uh, oval punch, and that one will be scalloped. Okay, so I just have a regular piece of scrap of pool party. We just want something to back that up a little. And there we go. Now that looks very pretty there. Okay, so let's just layer this baby up. This is going to go on here. Okay. This layer goes on the base. Okay. Thank. Okay. And now I'm just going to add the sentiment and I'm going to pop that up and that's why I have it, um, why well, I wanted to use the black to bring a little bit of that black up there. So let's just add the back scalloped edge on, just with our adhesive, and then we're gonna pop up the actual sentiment part with um, dimensionals. Oh, well, I keep coming up with little ones here. Come on, I must have a big one here somewhere. Okay, oops, that was a bad one. Okay, there we go. And now you have a cute little thank you card using both the um, touch of ink and the Flowers and Field DSP. Let me show you a few extras that I had made um, before, just to add to my collection. And um, so we, these are the two that we did today. And I did this one here, same thing. I used the uh, floral image, and then there's this cute little, uh, a little dotted background stamp. And I just kind of did a little did a little fill in on that on that side and that has a nice sized uh, best wishes also so this set has really beautiful sentiments also this is a very monochromatic card and I use the butterfly image the two steps here for this image and you can see again how much larger this is than what's um, depicted on the on the cover and uh, this was all done in bumblebee and then I just fussy cut around the um, dragonfly so um, just to give him a little uh, dimension to pop him up on that little fencing uh, wood piece trim and this was uh, one I had started out with and then I I kind of liked it I wanted to lighten it up a little bit so same um, same idea though we just lightened it up with different colors and then moved around the layers a little bit Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my Friday fun with an SAB freebie today. And um, come back next week. We'll have another, uh, I don't know if I'll be combining two, but we definitely will have uh, a few projects with at least one um, celebration freebie item. Okay, thanks so much for joining me again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.